Hi everyone, welcome YouTube. I'm here back in Affane old church and graveyard and I came back to see was there any changes here. There was a couple of old crypts and stuff like that. I'm just going to check and see are they blocked up or what way they're situated at the moment. Now this old graveyard is magnificent and it has some really unusual looking headstones. So we'll take a walk around. So we're going to go down this direction here. But I've noticed here, as you come in this area of it here, someone has left some bird feeders for the birds here, which is nice to see. You can see some more here feeding the birds. And a, an old frying pan here, like maybe a drink for the birds also. So the birds are looked after here in this old graveyard in nature. So we'll go over this direction. And this is a really cool old graveyard. And it's a wooded kind of area. So there's a lot of headstones in here that are kind of hidden away. I'm hoping to get to read some of those today. It's a lovely one there with just a cross on that, but no initials. Now I did bring my torch today also, so we'll be able to read some. This one here is erected by John as a small tribute of affection to the memory of his wife, Mary Hennessy of Capper Quinn, who died on June the 25th, 1867, aged 56 years old. It's a really nice headstone there. Now there is a one or two, I've seen one here in front of me, a, a war grave. And this here is T. O'Neill served as, and that's his army number there, a driver, T. Neil. Army Service Corps, the 14th of October, 1915, aged 30 years old. And as I was saying, you can see all the, the old trees and wooded area here, which I love, these type of old graveyards. And some of them just have markers on them like this one here is just a stone marker and I suppose you know back in the day people couldn't afford to put up a, a proper headstone at the time and use the stone marker so you can just I'll pan around and show you you can just see all that area in there with all those headstones underneath it. Really quite nice. And this little one just here. And it just says P S or R S, sorry. And a cross on it. And the place is kept well. I believe there's a person that comes here and keeps the grass cut and stuff. You can see all that wooded area now. 
there's even graves in there which I haven't seen on my last trip here I believe it was a couple of months ago but now I haven't seen this one here was very unusual and you can just see there's an old railing going around and all those trees in the center of the grave so there is somebody buried there and all those trees have just sprouted up in the middle of the old grave there quite interesting now I'm going to delve a little bit deeper in amongst this area and there's a black cross here one or two black crosses and it's all on its own here in the grave area now there is a name Mary Murray R.I.P. it says and you can just see all the growth and dense wooded area all around and this is just here on its own in the corner so a lot of these graves it's sad to see that um, you know people obviously family members don't come back anymore to visit the graves or maybe they're no longer alive on this earth who knows who knows guys now this is stunning in here look at that this graves these graves here are completely covered in all this wooded area and it's really haunting looking to see all these old graves and I'm going to use my torch here again to see can I read this one erected by her son Thomas Hayes of Capaquin in memory of his mother Johanna Cahill who died March the 15th 1874 aged 85 years old now just in the middle of that you have this big gorgeous Celtic cross here look at that right beside Mary's grave or sorry Johanna look at that Celtic cross nestled deep in the woods in the old graveyard here And this is Anne Hayes, in memory of her beloved husband, Thomas, who died in 1880, aged 63, and her son, Patrick, who died in 1889, aged 42 years old. Her two daughters, Bridget, aged 13 years old, and Mary, aged only nine years old, and also their son Thomas, aged only four years old. And there's two infant children also. Also the above, Anne Hayes, who died in 1892, aged 70. See, very young people buried there. 13 year old, a nine year old, a four year old, and also two little infants. So it's very sad to see. Such young people buried in the old woods in the graveyard here. So I'm going to go up this way, guys, through this hidden kind of area around here. I hope we can find some more interesting graves. You can hear the cows 
in the background here we have another one small cross as well and just look at all this area here you have chest tombs Celtic crosses and it's really quite stunning to see all these old graves and it's really like some place you'd see in Highgate Cemetery a smaller version maybe and I'm glad I kind of came back here to see this because I didn't do these ones the last time I was here all these chest tombs and you can see how they're designed with those squares and the sides and uh, some of them would be very very hard to read and some of them have fallen over and broken this one here very very old chest tombs and I don't have any equipment with me but I would love to clean the dirt off the top of that and have a read and see what names are on those and unfortunately this one here has broken and you can see how they're made you can just see the top of the chest tomb there with the initials so how they used to make these back in the day you can just see for example there there's a load of big boulders and rocks and stuff like that stones put into the middle of the of the tomb to reinforce the center of it I'd say to strengthen it and uh, all that has broken away there but I'm going to try and read what this says on it here now it'll be quite hard to clean or I'll try As you can see, I tried to clean as best I could. Sacred to the memory of Now that's very unusual, like it's like an, I don't know if that is a M I T S. If anybody else can pick that up. That name just there. And uh, daughter, it says, of Valentine. Who died aged, it looks like 22, is it? Or 70, on the 22nd, age 75. So it says, daughter of Valentine. And that. And you can just hear all the, the undergrowth there on my feet those are amazing look at those chest tombs absolutely stunning those chest tombs are and there's writing on top of those and all, a lot of these chest tombs i noticed them um, the writing fades away on them and i thought that when they're in an area like this with a lot of overgrowth with moss and stuff you know they do survive now just in here you see this boundary wall here goes all the way across and down and an entrance here and a big tree growing in the grave area there I'm going to see, can I read what it says? Now, this is during the day. It's an extremely hot day today. But in here, in parts, it could also look like 
night time it's so dark in here that these trees have just totally took over the whole area wow and there's a hole there guys but um it doesn't go down very far and i can't see anything there now there is a, a headstone there but there's no inscription on the headstone and all these tombs are um all these tombs are um tops you can see the tops all there all that there is a a top now i don't know whether that was on top of that over there and now it's here which is very very strange how it moved from the top of that hole there who knows guys who believes in vampires you seen if anybody didn't see my high get vampire video check it out very interesting story now another marker here just a small stone and then we do have a grave here underneath all that tree area and we'll read this erected by the beloved children in memory of their dear parents John Nugent who departed this life 1839 age 65 also his wife Eliza who departed this life in 1839 age 63 isn't that quite amazing that old headstone look at that and it's leaning forward as you can see at a slant and on the other side you have the tree that's resting on top of the the headstone here one of the big branches of the trees coming down on top of it and there's headstones off in there also and hopefully I'll try and get around that area to to read a few of those but you can just see there how haunting that looks and beautiful with those old trees in the background So that one in there is quite strange as well. I was just looking at it with the, as I was saying, the top of that tomb there, and grave area has moved over and there's a big hole in the ground. But it doesn't look like the hole is going very far down. And there's all those tombs. I do see some more chest tombs over in this direction. There's another old tomb. Look at that. Resting against the wall there. quite beautiful and this one here says Esquire so there's an Esquire buried here I don't know if I can see I'll try and see the name on it and there is a lot of moss growing on it so I won't be able to read that unfortunately you can just see the area is gorgeous and for anyone that didn't see the last time I was here couple of months ago this is also another wall that goes around a family burial area here and those chest top those chest tombs 
And you can see the old wreath of flowers left here on the, the grave area. There's one headstone on its own there. And then you have these old chest tombs. Look at that. Amazing, the top has come off that one also. And you kind of wonder, you know, when I come across these places on my travels, I do wonder how the tops of these tombs actually come off because they're extremely heavy. You know, it's pure stone and really, really heavy, I'd imagine. And I can't see a storm doing it because it's really sheltered here, this area. It's really sheltered. And uh, there you see the other one there. So you have the two of them there together. Look at that. Now there is a plaque on the wall here. In memory of Mary Kathleen Power, who died the 16th of September 1920. Maud Dora Power, who died in 1951. John William died in 1933. And Samuel Gervais Power, a very unusual name, Gervais, who died in 1954. So you can just see that plaque there as well. And there's all the old graveyard there in the distance. And I just love this graveyard. I had to come back, had to redo it again. And a couple I didn't finish. And uh, it's quite enchanting, this old graveyard. Now, there is a couple of other places I will show that I've shown before. But um, there's a very interesting one. I don't know if I can get into it. There's a lot of overgrowth. But just over there in that direction, over there, there's the old church of Afain here. And um, in the old church, they say, is the final resting place of Valentine Greatrix. And Valentine Greatrix was a witch hunter and a healer. And uh, there's a lot of stories going back to a woman, I think, from... I'm not sure if she's from County Cork or Waterford, I'll have to look it up, was on trial, a witch trial, and Valentine Greatrix had a part to play in that also. Now just look at this tree, the way it goes up, and down the bottom of the tree you have this old stone cross has fallen and I believe the tree has actually knocked that. So you can see where the tree is there, right there, has fallen down on top of this grave and has knocked over that beautiful stone cross, unfortunately. And if I can get in under here, I'll read what it says. In loving memory of Mr. Richard Carew, by a large circle of devoted friends, as a last tribute of respect to one who during life endeared himself to all who knew him by his many good qualities, mind and heart. He died in Cork the 25th of January, or sorry, February, 1886, aged only 33 years old. But just look at that lovely flower design at the top of the headstone there. And the tree where the tree has just fallen down on top of it here. And it's actually wedged itself on this side as well. But... The headstone underneath has survived and the cross that was on the top has fallen off. So 
so I'm going to continue around and there's also a, a very old grave down the back of the graveyard here in the wooded area that there's a crypt in the grave the last time we were here we were looking and uh, hoping to find something and we did when we were here last now there was an old bottle the last time I was here inside in the old crypt and there was a lot of people on the channel wondering and I suppose curious to know like myself you can see all the holes there and that's just animal activity here also I'd imagine another old chest tomb so there's all sorts here guys in this old graveyard you even have mushrooms growing and a plant a flower and it looks like a sunflower there that's grown in the middle of all those mushrooms as i always say where you have an ugly place or ugly area beauty grows so anything is possible look at this old railing around this wrought iron old railing going all around the grave david classy who died in 1882 age 45 also our brother daniel who died in 1883 age 14 years old and our dear mother sophia jane who died in 1909 age 69 what a beautiful gravesite and all these chest tombs are they're everywhere here you can see more there another grave hidden under all these trees look at that flowers on that design on it absolutely stunning erected in memory of john colander who died in 1882 age 63 walter colander is there too who died in 1914 age 50. just look at that flower and the grave i think they're lilies that are growing on the, the side of the grave there either side you can see them amazing work from the men who carved these back in the 1800s that's a really large one there a headstone so guys i'm going to take you over now and we're going to look at a couple of other graves in the area and this is an old dark part here and all these there's a top there and I imagine that's the top of a chest at the chest tombs there you can see one just there look at that an old chest tomb with all that moss on it and even in here you can see there's graves that are hidden in all these areas there's more just in there a lovely cross on that one look at that amazing and even you have they even have um ones with all railings around them are beautiful look at this one here right in the middle of the wooded area in the graveyard and no headstone which is a very unusual large gravesite area there with all that old railing around it now you can see what i'm talking about there there's the old railing that goes all around the grave area there 
and chest tombs. Now, this is the old church we have here, and it's quite beautiful also. You can just see it there. And I'll show you and give you a better look at the window in this old church. Now, in the middle of that old church in the center of it there, the old timber frame is still around the window of the church and you can see the bell tower in the background there, the other side. Look at that. So in the center of that old church, people say, and I've seen it online, that uh, Valentine Greatrex was buried here in this old church. Now you can see the sign danger keep out falling masonry. So that means in other words, those stones are not safe to be around in the building there. Um, but Valentine Greatrex is buried in there and it's extremely, extremely overgrown. As you can see, that's the entrance to the church. So in there somewhere amongst all those thorns and bush and wild overgrowth, they say Valentine Greatrex is buried in there. Now I would love to get in there, but it's not possible to see if his marker is there. And he was a witch hunter and a healer. And there was even stories of Valentine traveling as far as England and he uh, he was involved with a king also in England and was supposed to have uh, healed a king of England also so he was wanted by a lot of people for his healing powers and a very sought after man So he had a very interesting past. Now I think it's in the 1500s all this witchcraft stuff happened in the trial and um, Valentine Greatrex and all that happened. The more wrought iron. Look at that. The men who designed all these for people's graves. Amazing. old place and I think this is one of my if not favorite ones in Ireland this graveyard and you can just see that again the old railing that goes all around this one here look at that now the name on that is Benjamin Dean who was born in 1824 and died in 1895, maybe that could be. Kind of an obelisk look to it, a smaller version of that. Even you have, um, there's just graves here that are hidden, hidden away. In. I'm going to try and get inside the church to give you a little better look. This one here, we have James Crotty, who died the 25th of April 1957. His son James died in 1998, aged um, 90 years old, it says, and other members of the family. On that grave, quite large plot there. And a lot of people ask me on my videos, how does the burials work here in Ireland? And, you know, and the way it works here in Ireland is, you know, people who are buried in the graves, the coffins sink down. Then another family member, sorry, goes in on top of that person. And also side by side, people are buried. So... There can be a number of people buried in the one plot in the graves here in Ireland. 
Now I'm going to go down this far here because these are the ones that I find interesting. The ones that are hidden away and I like to, to read and call out the ones, you know, I think anybody that does cemetery channels and stuff like that, I see a lot of cemetery channels and, you know, they never call out names or they never read a lot of the headstones. And the whole point really of doing this channel is to remember all these people on video in the archives all these graves so there's another old cross that's leaning over erected by thomas ford in memory of his wife sarah Crawford who died in 1914 and his daughter Margaret Crawford who died in 1920 age 38 also their son Thomas who died in 19 I think that's 1920 there also so another beautiful old cross and grave hidden away And you have to kind of, when you do these videos, videos, you know, you have to kind of get into places like this and, uh, you know, get into areas like this and try and find what you can and read what you can. And uh, it's important. Now, I'm going to go over here, guys, and show you the the old church you see all the trees here are lying near a lot of the graves there's another one in here hidden fine monument in the middle here look at this old headstone here with a cross on top erected by the resident magistrate officers and men of the constabulary of the county of Waterford to the memory of William Slattery Esquire for 20 years sub-inspector of Capaquin district who died the 20th of April 1861 aged 61 years old what a beautiful monument erected by the local people for this man's service an esquire quite interesting quite interesting now you see a lot of graves there's more down here now as I said if I had to do all these graves I would be here for at least a week or more so I'm not going to get them all done today but I'll do as many as I can Now this says, erected by the command of um, is that Alex Wallace of the Royal Regiment of Foot, who departed this life in 1823, aged 24 years old, erected by the command of Alexander, actually, he says, Wallace, of the Royal Regiment of Foot. Wow. How interesting is that? The Royal Regiment of Foot, back in the 1800s. I definitely have to look up his name and investigate that. Linda Ball. Linda Ball, one of my great people on my channel who digs deep and finds out stuff for me also. A great woman. And look at that old one in there with the iron railing around it. And it's a tomb or a, another old headstone there. 
Just look at the foot underneath it. I'm going to go over guys and look. So I've gotten through here and you can see it's another old railing that goes around the grave and it's just hidden away in the middle of the woods here. All these old headstones. And it won't be possible to get in there. So I'm going to go back out guys and I'm going over to this church to show you. For anyone that hasn't seen it before, it is worth looking at. And uh, I'll show you it's extremely warm here today in the high 20s in Ireland, which mightn't be much, sound like much to people from different parts of the world, but it is very warm here to us. So there's the old church, the Afain old church, as I was saying, where Valentine Greatrix is interred in there. And you can just see all the tower of it there. Look at that, absolutely beautiful that old church and I'm going to bring you inside the door of it here and see as much as we can and I have my torch so you can see what it looks like inside look at all those old windows look at that and the old bell tower that was there one time Amazing. And unfortunately, and it's a pity that the, the historical groups don't get together and maybe, you know, try and clear all the middle of this out because it's, it's impossible to get in there. Really is. And if he is buried in there and his plaque is in the middle of that church area, it would be very interesting for it to come to life and the people see it and uh, there's an old piece that was off one of the graves I'd say and all the old and the original timber is still there over the door frame there you can see imagine that's still that's the original wood that was part of the old church and the tower here, absolutely amazing. The history that you have in this place. So what I'm going to do now is bring you around and back down. There's two more places I want to show you. There's one down here where we've done a crypt. We found an old crypt down here, if you remember. And for anyone that didn't see it, I'll show you and I'm trying to figure out which way the old crypt is and I think I know so I'll get back to you guys. Just another one here on the ground also. Charles Grave is the name on that. Charles Graves Esquire. What a very unusual but Of course, blending in with the video and what I'm doing, it's quite fitting to see the name Graves on a headstone. So, I'm making my way down to the old crypt. Okay guys, the good news is I found the crypt and the old burial place here. And uh, there it is there. And you can see the top has broken off it. And the top used to be up there. So what I'm going to do is just show you quite quickly. Um, I'm going to read this again. Erected by Elizabeth Clark in memory of her beloved daughter, 
Catherine, who departed this life the June the t June the twentieth, eighteen thirty, aged only eighteen years old, and also in the memory of her beloved husband William, who died in eighteen thirty four, or it could be eighty four. Sometimes it's hard with the three and the eights and these, and he was forty six years old. But look at the top of it there. There's the old part of it there on top. Look at that. Amazing. All the moss. So the last time we were here, we noticed there was a little looking point in this old crypt. And there was a bottle in there. So I might have to take the phone off the gimbal and I will give you all another look inside that old crypt that's belonged to the monument there of the 18 year old girl look at that amazing okay guys so i took the phone off the gimbal because it's not possible to, to look otherwise but there's the old monument and I imagine back in the day in the 1800s that would have cost quite a penny that monument for their daughter so I'm going to try and look inside now the last time I looked in here I could see a couple of things in here and you can still see just there to your right a bone and the old bottle is still there now if I can in edit, I'm going to zoom in on that bottle. Now, I just found these in here. Actually, Sue has spotted these ones in here, which are unusual too. These old railings, look at them, they're really tiny. And I'm just wondering, are the children? There's a name on it, and I'm going to read it and see. But you can just see the size of them there. They're not really that big. And it says Frank, I, I thought that, Frank Cunniff Allred, Allred, who died November the 18th, 1895, aged only 11 months. A little iron kind of plaque left against it there. You can see the name and the age and everything on it. It's only a little baby. And this, how sad, 11 months old. And I'll just show you the railing around it there. And it does look like those old graves you'd see in America. And those old pioneer graveyards, you'd see them. Look at that. And there's another one just next door, but to the child's one there. And there's no name, unfortunately, on this one. I'd say they're family because they're exactly the same. They're both beside each other and they're, yeah, they're identical, the, the style of the, the railing around it. Now there's a headstone next door here. I don't know if that's part of the family has fallen and it's leaning up against the old wall here. Sacred to the memory of Catherine Elizabeth O'Brien, wife of John O'Brien and daughter of the late Robert Bond of Kingstown who departed this life, 1887, aged 39 years old. So how sad is that? Lovely wrought iron, small little tiny rail, and I'd say it's about two foot, if that, it's two foot high. 
and the little plaque just over there for the little baby only 11 months old so if you remember the last time i was here i actually didn't go over i don't think to this area of there's a very large crypt or kind of vault here and there is the top you can see how large it is all that stone square slabs on top of the old vault now this area here is extremely and this is why we go back to do videos of locations we've we have already been because it'll just give you an example of how nature has changed all this area and i'll put in that in the video of what it looked like before and what it looks like now but just in the middle of all that wild growth there are the final resting places of fanny and florence musgrave and uh, it's very historical actually and i'm surprised it's not cleared away because uh, there were two sisters i believe who were on a ship that sank and the ship was torpedoed by a German submarine or a U-boat I suppose that would be called as well so it's very interesting to come back and see it now it's all the last time I was here you could read the headstones you could see it very very clearly in there but all that is extremely overgrown and it's about eight foot tall I'd say seven or eight foot tall all that growth now um, extremely overgrown and all the names are underneath there of the family as well and just in around that corner there is the old vault with those really old coffins inside there as well so we will have another look and see was it blocked up or if there's any changes made since we've been here but i'm very shocked to see all that overgrowth that they can't be read anymore now there is one here at the side you can barely see this one here 1874 is that one but just in there is the Musgrave, I think it is, if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it's Musgraves who were buried in there, who drowned in a ship that was sank by the Germans back in the early 1900s, I think it was. So guys, this is the area and the old crypt and vault. I don't know whether you call it a crypt or a vault, really. How would you think? Oh, crypt, maybe. I don't know. You can see where the old bars are on it there and the steel plating behind it and those old steps that go down into it. So I'm going to have another look inside and show inside this for anyone. There's a gap on top there and underneath. I want to show inside for anyone that had missed it before. So guys, there is inside the old vault and you can see the coffins are there the old lead ones are lying across the shelves and there's one very large one at the very back and now the one in front of me here the lead one is just full to the top with water so there's obviously a leak on top of this old crypt here and just down below i was showing you the last time on the video you can see the shelving there on it and the floor of the crypt has broken and caved in but there's a really good view there of the the old coffins inside there's two in there now there could be more at the bottom of that i can't really see at the bottom but if there is i'm sure they have broken apart oh, yeah. oh, no. there's bones everywhere. and there's bones everywhere there as well so this is I'm at the bottom of it now, the old crypt. You can see if you can pick it up or not. Bones. There's bones off up the very, very top there. And there's one of those coffins down the bottom, the lead ones, and it has just crumbled. 
like folded nearly in two the coffin and you can see the brick work that they made there in the in it as well look at that bones and all there now if i can zoom in i'll try and zoom in and show you the bone that i'm talking about you can just see it there the bone pieces of leg bone and stuff like that there and maybe socket joints and different stuff and the bone right there in front the big long one and there's people on the channel i'm sure who would know what part of the body that comes from it's leg bone. it looks like long enough to be a leg or an arm bone or something so that's quite interesting get it back up here guys and this is the this is the um door of it here and you can just see where the handle used to be there where you opened the door on it inside there again you can see from the top there's all the coffins so that's really sad to see you know you know when we do these videos we always think it's science really and you know people on the channel often say oh you know it's disrespectful or whatever to to find these places and look in them but as i always say if you go to museums you see mummies from thousands of years ago and bones from animals and humans and in museums everywhere so anyway guys this is the old vault and nothing has changed here really only i suppose more water damage has got in side the crypt and it's damaged inside and doesn't look great and you can see the roof of it there so it is quite large the old crypt and i suppose one good thing is that the door is still holding up so nobody can go in there so guys for me grave visitations on this extremely warm summer's day here in Affain old church and graveyard in county waterford um if you like the video please subscribe hit the thumbs up and the notification bell the notification bell lets you know when i'm uploading a next video so it's very helpful um so thanks for watching the video and uh and this interesting very interesting place so from me grave visitations God bless guys and take care and I'll see you on my next adventure.